Yeah, good afternoon to all of you, and uh, thank you, Mr. Narayan, for having me here. Uh, you heard all the stalwarts. Uh, now we'll talk something about the market, which affects our daily, everyday life. What has gone is past. What is in future lies <laughs> is more important. And you are at a time when you are delving with, arguably, for me, this week must have been the most empathic week or the most weakest sentiment since I've seen since COVID. For any and every reason, you are only pessimistic. Whether it's uh, rising bond yields, the US dollar, or inflation. And all, uh, like we said, stock markets work on just two principles, greed and fear. All the knowledge and the talk we got was mostly on hindsight and how we should have. What is the future? What does the market lie ahead? And as you know, that mutual fund industry is arguably you, you being part of it as an intermediate strain, and same as me being a broker, maybe the best time in our lives. Because the sheer weight of Indians progressing toward an asset class called equity is, is uh, just the tip of the iceberg. As you all know, there are four asset classes. Gold and silver, which is emotional. What comes in never goes out. Fixed income, which is not good enough to beat inflation right now particularly in the US, uh, real estate where 30 years you make one house of your dream and if you had 30 years back enough cap capital and imagination to create two more in Chennai, you would be yourself be a king. And fourth is equity. Of all the four asset classes, we own the three, but equity has been the missing link. In a country of 135 crore, we just have DMAT accounts rising from 3 to 11 in the last three years. And I think that that is just going to be the starting point. Like uh, Mr. Sogata said that 100 crore asset management, uh, 100 lakh crore would be the order of the day. I think that can grow at a faster pace given that it is the retail investor who is actually putting his money where his mouth is. Even in the month of January, we had 14,000 crore SIP, the highest ever. And that tells us that for all the FI outflows of 3 lakh crore, which in my life I've never seen, we handled it and actually made them come back and, you know, re-enter at a higher price. So hats off to the retail investor, he is here to stay. Now you tell me, why did you own uh, assets for 30 years? What are the assets you own for 30 years? The home which you built, because that's where you stay, gold and silver, why is gold hitting 57,000? You are all proud that you own gold, but it is not you. It is not the gentlemen, it is the ladies. It is the ladies who have gold as more security than the men in their lives. That's why they have been able to hold gold till 30 years or 40 years. Sonia ka bhao 500,000 rupees mein aapke haat mein hota to 3, 5,000 you would have sold. It is the ladies who feel more secure with you, with, 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 with gold rather than you. And it's uh, inevitable. You can't leave gold, so you can't leave your wife. Your wife will not leave gold, so she has to. you have to be with her. But that's the beauty that you could see 57,000. Similarly, do you have that vision in stocks? Very short-sighted. And that's what the market is. In 1993, if you invested in Infosys, you all have heard of Infosys? 1993, if you invested 100 rupees in Infosys, it was issued at 93 rupees. So in 100 rupees, in 10,000 rupees, you could buy 100 Infosys, meaning 9,300. 10,000 in 93 was far more costly than what it is today, but 10,000 was 10,000. Can you imagine the value of those 30 years today if you held on to that 10,000 rupees? Take a guess. 5 lakh, 10 lakh, 50 lakh, 1 crore. It's 4.23 crore. 10,000 becoming 4.23 crore is wealth. But the bottom line remains, how many of you could sit for 30 years? Not that it became 20 lakh and you sold that and bought JP and Suzlon and you're still holding on to those. So the beauty of the market is that in hindsight will be proven correct or wrong. There are no, you know, precedents. All you have to do is learn from your mistakes. The second part is being invested in value or growth. The last year was all about value. And for all the trollers who thought that PSUs were dead and gone, PSUs have been the best basket ever. From defense, 
to power to energy to uh, PSU banks. And that tells you that timing the market is virtually a non-existent talk. Only two people can time the market. Can you tell me who? God. Only God and fools. <laughs> if you are foolishly lucky, you will say, I timed it, I took it in 14,000, I took There is nothing called timing. There is only time spent in the market. At 18 and a half thousand, there is greed. At 17,000, there is fear. Correct? <clears throat> 8,000 came and COVID, if you all saw me on TV, we used to sit at home. You had the guts, you had the money, but you didn't have the conviction. Because smart people who talk in ties and, you know, English accent, particularly TV commentators were telling you that the end of the world. Nothing comes like an opportunity. Opportunity will not come knocking at your door. And that is why money is only built if you have the existence to stay invested. I'll give you a nighter note, why brands are created. We'll go to this, but more important is how to explain the market. What is the present scenario? In 1988, I joined the stock market, Delhi Stock Exchange. First class graduate, SRCC, I had done my half in terms of, uh, cleared my intermediate CA, but I got lured by the stock market. Also did two years of law. And that time it was an outcry system. You had to shout for two and a half years, if some of the old people will tell you. So shouting meant you had to you know, buy and sell through the, you know, the nuances. There used to be trades in anas. You know, in one rupee, how many anas there are? Ek rupee mein kitne ane hai? So one ana is how much? Six paisa. No, 96. Six, 16s are 96. Where are the four anas? Char paise ka gaye? Har tisra anas is seven paisa. Six, 12, 19, 25. So the Marwari Lala used to fox you in that third ana and cheat you in that Hindustan motor trade. So you had to learn, you didn't even know how to count. So I met a friend of my father, and that person didn't know Hindi or English, he could speak Punjabi. But he was a very, very astute stock investor. I don't know if anybody of here understands Punjabi, I'll translate it. So I asked him, uh, what share should I buy? I was young, you know, 18, I was just 21, 22. He said, he said, Kaka, pawns a share khareed le, Sola saal di jawan, athattar saal di buzuk, roos swere sham laegi, kadhi fashion to out ni jayega. Meaning, buy the share of ponds, a 16 year old and a 78 year has to use it morning and evening, this will never go out of fashion. Believe me, ponds was 55 rupees. After seven years it got merged with lever, today ponds is 55,000. And aside from the ladies, even I use ponds. So, personal choice has no competition and no inelasticity of price. She will not change her sunsil shampoo because it goes up by 20. <clears throat> he will not smoke, uh, stop smoking India King if it goes up by 20. That is called the power of a brand. So brands are not generated overnight. You didn't imagine that an Apple will be $3 trillion or a Microsoft or even a Tesla can be a trillion dollars. That is the power of growth. Where are you? You just have $200 billion companies. Reliance and TCS, and one asp aspiring group, unfortunately, is again lost a lot of its market cap. I just tweeted yesterday, they said Adani has lost 62% 60, of its market cap. So I said, Hindenburg said it's overvalued by 82, if he's lost 63, and if you add yesterday 64, then the gap has narrowed. What next? I hope Hindenburg doesn't come out with a report next week that he's bought uh, Adani because the valuations look reasonable. So remember, greed and fear go hand in hand. If you can overcome emotions, you will make money. There is no other thing. The trader and the investor lie in the same house, but they have different ballparks. The trader invests, the trader never never gets emotional, he sells weakness by strength. And the investor stays put. Mr. Naren told you of 2012, at that time I was a consultant with NDTV and Dr. Roy asked me to sit in the, uh, with Warren Buffett in a dialogue. And guess what Warren Buffett said? He said, Sanjeev, do you know I bought the Goldman Sachs preferential bond of $10 billion at 10% rate. Preferential bonds in the US are very active, they're not in India. He said, do you know the interest I'm making? In every minute, I'm making $4.
Then he said, "Do you know how many years I invested in Coca-Cola? You all heard of Coca-Cola. It's not that it's gone up like a rocket. It has gone through cycles. In 2012, I said, took a guess, said 25 years. He said wrong, 41 years and counting. Now, do you have that metal in you to sit through it? Can you sit 40, 40 years? He said, wealth is only started to create after the age of 60. That means age is no barrier. Like he pointed out." Charlie Munger and he are 94 and 98 and very active. So for you, I have just turned 60, by the way, and I think I've I've just turned 30. That's the spirit. That's the passion. Stock markets have for you, and if you can be a part of it, आप सबने मुझे Z पे देखा है. I come five times on Z and the other Hindi channels. I dissuade English channels because uh, anchors are more egoist than the speakers, unfortunately. Now a lot of you watch not to take it in a lighter note, but <clears throat> even yesterday. a lot of my friends are the same age of 59 60 and you know bitten by the look good bug so they say yaar sonia shuna is very 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 attractive looking you all must have seen her and she speaks so fluently just like you i said yeah but she is always bearish because of the sentiment so good looks can be charming but they can be deceptive at 15 and a half thousand my friends asked me sanjeev uh, What will the market? I said in two months will be eighteen thousand. They said, "Do the harvari tezi mein hota." I said, "Nahi." So they said, "Anyway, when are you coming with Sonia?" I said, "Tomorrow morning, eight thirty." So fifteen five hundred was the index. So first thing Sonia came on TV and said, "So Sanjeev, when are we hitting fourteen thousand?" Are? So I I said, "Sonia, we'll go to eighteen." So she laughed in herself and <laughs> so, you know she must have said, "What a fool!" Anyway. After two months, we were eighteen thousand. So I asked my friends, "Ke paisa kamaya?" They said, "You were right, but we got lured by Sonia. She said fourteen." <laughs> so I said, "Bhaiya, sundarta pe jaoge to paise kamaoge. Basin ko dekhoge to paise kamaoge. Simple reason: don't get fooled by looks. Don't get taken in by emotions. Use your own hat." On on this count, let me tell you: just last week, three of the worst indices. the european indices that is the futsi the cac and the dac hit all time highs what all time highs please check the data the futsi the cac and the dac hits all time highs four months back you said in 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 winters they will freeze there will be no gas gas has hit three year lows and anybody who could buy the fear four months back in europe has made huge money so it tells you fear and greed go hand in hand and lightning doesn't strike twice remember that a b we are arguably the worst performing index in january for adani or whatever faction of money going to china and xy but let me tell you in my 33 years i have never seen abb siemens cummins lnt and thermax at all time highs which means the capex is running it is up and going and that tells you that the growth or the vision in india is so like mr the previous speaker i forgot the purple pond gentleman said be nice it is also necessary along with nice to be positive if you are not positive then you are not there then you may see 18000 and you may see 14000 and you can blame all the hell on adani but you will never participate the participation only comes if you own in own stocks or a sip and shifting is not so easy as it's made out to be fund managers and their pedigree will always speak about the money they manage but it's the real performances on the charts and how you can convince clients clients minds are very very delicate they don't shift so easily the adaptation is a part of the process i have never seen brands do the way they are in 2007 i was with deutsche bank running their prop book in hong kong and my boss called me from new york sanjeev the owner of page industries is here and he's placing stock with us so how much I said, buy how much you can because it's the it's one of the best brands. So we bought one million page industry at seven hundred and fifty, and in two years we sold it at nineteen fifty, and we were laughing our way. We were a hedge fund. You know the price of page industry today? Huh? No, oh, it touched forty-five thousand. What does it make? Jockey underwear. Don't feel shy. So you see, there is a change in per perception. What? i will pay for the price of a shirt i will not pay for an underwear but my son who has to show his jeans are low and the underwear is high will do that and that is what page industry encapsulates aspiration 
your aspirations is what's driving autos when did you see mercedes and auto audi say they've seen the highest sales this is what the reality is you know that one day you buy the car the next day it depreciates so all you are holding is aspirations that i must have the best car unfortunately it's not coming to the lower or uh, you know rural markets because of higher inflation but it will it's about time it will flow i think that we are headed for the best time ever and let me be candid it starts from next week maybe from next week till 15th april the markets have the best rally you have ever seen three things for that consumption cement and capex these three are roaring adani factor will be forgotten because memories of short of stock markets are very short lived as soon as soon as you see 18 200 you'll forget about what adani was and what it was not we are not getting deeper into that but do you own or are you caught in the fear bug that greed and fear resides in all of you okay it is not some external fi or uh, or, or, or or some uh, you know joe biden by the way according to me for everyone tom toming the fed has lost all credibility last year when they had to do marginal rate hikes they say inflation is transitory now when inflation hits 9% they are going whole hog to raise rates at 5% and above the terminal rate will kill home home, home buyers 99% of the us lives on mortgages 1 1.5% cannot survive at 5 so sooner rather than later there will be more action on this peak coming and we think inflation is headed down a china ukraine are looking russia are looking for ways to salvage not to increase the tension but there is a big arm race arm race in that thirdly we think that the domestic demographic premium of india you know if i just went in chennai yesterday to reach one conference it took me 40 minutes which tells me that roads are chock a block if you go to airports you will see the activity see we all went through the most horrible event of covid and by the grace of god we all survived but at that time you were totally hell bent and only god could help you when reliving of lives comes then there is no anecdote of spending money last year in Jan in diwali my top pick was this is in 21 was indian hotel at 140 i didn't imagine it will hit 340 and the management of indian hotel says we are just at the tip of the iceberg because room rates fell to something like four and a half and average room rates today are seven times there i went to taj ganges and there was no room available for 35000 a night so you can imagine someone is laughing his way to the bank this is the same which is playing out in china and i think that the china spending the uh, you know uh, the coexistence of temporary inflation and the weakness in the currency is all played out dollar is heading lower and i think we could be headed for the best two months starting from the next week onwards so we'll take this presentation but it's more to do with actual anecdote what you should be doing for you people as distributors this is the best time in your lives because the more aum you can get is unbelievable and now people want guidance they want you to hand hold them into a sip which is the best possible way mutual funds might underperform for some time but since you have active fund managers see why do you lose money you lose money because you are emotional if you are emotional then last year in january if you remember jp morgan came and upgraded it to an outperform please check the data and in 3 months back jp morgan came and downgraded it after a 40% correction that was the bottom i i follow jp morgan greatly because it's the biggest investment house but it's also unfortunately the biggest foolish so when he came and downgraded we are up 20% on it stocks i'll give you another incident in 2009 i came back from hong kong to india I returned after 5 years and i went to brindavan to do bihari ji's darshan 18 19th of january and i came out of the darshan at 11 o'clock and my broker called me he said sanjeev ji satyam ka bhav 12 rupaye you all remember satyam computers anybody remember so i said uh, i bought 60000 satyam at 12 rupees 20 paisa how much i bought 60000 how much could i lose 12 rupees usse zyada to i couldn't lose then i did data analysis who sell, i you know nsc has a wealth of data i checked who sold let the prices come you know 
and guess whose name came? The biggest international broking house, J.P. Morgan. He sold 75 lakh 40 thousand shares at 11.60 average. His cost was something like 500. अरे मैंने कहा गधे 11 रुपए भी जाने देता। After two years, I sold it at 250, and today it must be again 10 times whatever the price. So fear and greed go hand in hand. The talk of the town when the FIS come is all about excellent macros, excellent English, excellent cufflinks, excellent ties, but dumb, greed and fear. You are smarter than them. <laughs> now, all this is macro. It may pass over your head or it may be with you, but macros and micros have a world of change. That's why Nestle will always trade at 60 times multiple, but it was at 60 times five years back when it was 44 and a half thousand. Today it is 20,000, it will be 50,000 also and traded at a micro. Because you cannot compete with Maggi noodles or the type of products. Look at your own demographics. Interest rates are raised. I think Shakti Kanta Das may be arguably the best central banker in the world today. Because ground to earth person who knows what's going on, the marginal tinkering is more to do with controlling of the rupee rather than inflation. We have been able to handle inflation extremely well. Seven pillars of the budget were brilliant, and I think it all got in the crowded in the humdrum of Adani and so on. But I think the budget was a standout, given that they gave you the biggest call on data, on analytics, digital, and infrastructure. The infrastructure spend from 7.25 for 10 has a multiplier effect. 7 lakh rupees ki in pump pay, everyone who is in A or B scheme will make 50,000. That means there is hand, money coming in the hand of the customer. And that again is a blueprint for you to tap on those holdings to increase your SIP. Senior citizens and you have also given the Mahila Suraksha bill which means every household will be having 7.5%. The government in fact will borrow at 90 basis point above the treasury bill because that money comes back to them. So they, have, they are very, very innovative in which way they have, you know, performed their actions. Six, five U.S. companies, the FANG stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, Google, hit $8 trillion last year. The last three months has seen Tesla double. Amazon, Microsoft, all have given superb yields. So, like I said, this whole uh, greed and fear cycle is playing out again. Yesterday, again, the Dow and the Nasdaq and the bond yields started to tighten, but that's part and process of all pricing in the worst. We would expect this to top out, and like I said, maybe the next one and a half month on so much of pessimism gives relief to the best rally you've seen. We have underperformed in the last two months, and I think our outperformance in the month of March and April is very much on the cards. We are talking of a $5 trillion economy. By 2025, we should be $5 trillion. And look at the perspective, $100 billion, two companies, TCS and Infosys. Uh, Infosys came by default, maybe it becomes uh, Reliance. But look at the potential. Three years back, ITC was the worst traded or the most rolled stock. It has been an outperformer. So patience is the only thing which pays, and being invested is the only mantra. For last five years, there was huge underperformance in mid-caps, there was huge underperformance in metals, there was huge underperformance in PSUs. Look how they've bounced back. So it is easy to say you will catch the next rising tide. It is very difficult to enter and exit. Only the people who are invested will take home the advantage. The market has only one game plan, and that is India's outperformance on the sheer weight of demographics and the aspiration of making equity an asset class. There is no other template. Morgan Stanley himself says, uh, seven and a half trillion dollars by 31, but these are all estimates. They have very, very rigid, uh, you know, uh, couple of light pointers. When the markets go to 18 and a half, you have one of their commentators, Ritham Desai, he says, India looking set for 80,000. That's the time you should be cautious. Then when the markets come to below 55, Jonathan Garner says, China looking much better. That's the time you should be bullish. So take contrarian views. Most of the experience I have from FIs or investment bankers are that they work for their salary. They don't work for you. By the way, the IMF has again come and said that India may be in the best place ever. Now, these are big institutions which talk. And obviously, 
rating agencies are generally paid to do their job. In 2007, when I was in Deutsche Bank, my boss said, S&P has upgraded Lehman Brothers' credit rating. After one week, Lehman Brothers went to zero. So I said, so, so he said, so much for rating agencies, they'll only react when water has flown under the bridge. So take this with a pinch of salt. Rating agencies, FI brokers are doing their diligence, but macros and micros are very far-fetched. You are at the underground ground level much superior to them. And I, if I went back to seeing the past, you can always see how wealth has been created, particularly here. Whether it's a Coromandel fertilizer or a Spic or a TVS or the Ashok Leland's of the world, it is all coming from your heartland. And you can imagine what the prospects are, you know, further. I used to track a, called, a stock called Madras Cement or Ramco Cement today, many, many years back. And that has turned out to be a 150 bagger. You know, if you held it for 20 years, who thought cement can be an outperformer? But that tells you the dynamic change in situation, the aspiration of growth, the capex expenditure which is on the card, and the capex stocks which are outperforming. Never in my life I've seen all these stocks do hit new highs. And on the back of excellent numbers, India was a top performer in 2022. Now there is a height of pessimism which is taking place. So from being a top outperformer, you are an underperformer in the last one and a half month. Again, we talk of the next decade and, and what next. The next part is simple. We will remain an expensive market purely on the back that the retail flows are strong. And the retail flows are not there for the next six months or the next six. They are here for the next 30 years. It's a demographic change that I need equity as a portfolio in my... Remember, on your age profile, and your risk taking capacity, your allocation in all those four asset classes goes. So you have to get yourself designed as to what your risk appetite, what your holding period, and what your age limits are. High risk, high reward is a common game plan. Shakti Kantak Das put it rightly that reserves are not supposed to be a template that my Satso trillion dollars will remain 700. I have to use the money when, my mouth, when I need it. So don't get put up by $3 billion being up or down. It is just a way of functioning on the negativity. By the way, yesterday in CNBC, again, Sonia reinforced a point that tractor sales are booming, but El Nino is coming. So she again sounded very, very fearful. El Nino is coming, the five-year of drought. So you can imagine how fear plays out. When will the summer come? When will the fear factor? One week of summer, and you are already talking of weak tractor sales. Risk and reward go hand in hand. If you are a risk person, then futures options are the way you can make money. Let me also put it on record. On 25th January was the expiry of the January contracts. 26th was Republic Day. That day, the premium on the put was 3 rupees. It went to 300. 8.30 Hindenburg report comes. The turnover on that day on the derivatives was 408 lakh crore, out of which 304 lakh crore was options. So, I wish the regulators did more research on what is insider trading and who had a purview of what is the report. F losing and winning is a part, but impartial and insider trading is something which is wrong. The template again in India is the advent of the unicorns or the new millennials, who thought that you would have 10,000 millennials, new unicorns, ready to up, take the risk and actually prove themselves. There will be some who will fall by the line, but it tells you your capacity of growth and intellectual properties coming to the light. Some of the fintechs, some of the Zomatos will do extremely well. It depends on your horizon of holding. These are 10 of my blue chips, which I think can be huge outperformers. Some may have, some will, but I think being invested Doing your SIP regularly, diligently, and upping the stake when it comes to these levels is very, very. So look forward to having a very, very superb next one and a half month. Call me on 15th April when we go past maybe 18 and a half thousand. On that note, thank you very much and wish you all all the best.